warrior. Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're gonna open another, guess what, Goodwill Blue Box. <gasps> Tell me if you're getting tired of them, darlings. But that's what we're opening today. I have this Goodwill repurposed box. It cost me $29.99. There goes my phone, turning it off. And got it on uh, goodwillbluebox.com. Fridays, they go live, good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. So let's uh, take a first sneak peek at this one. I cannot remember where this one came from because I think I ordered a couple at a time and they came in a bigger box, so it didn't have a label on this particular box. Ooh, that looks promising right there. Looks like some maybe silver beads. Oh, we have somebody that's making a run for it. Some holiday stuff. That looks, something over here looks kind of fun. Ooh, 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 that's got me excited. That looks really pretty. All right, let's dive into this bad boy. I will try to go slower also on this one because I have gotten some comments that on, especially the things that I'm putting in a lot, I go too fast. So I will try to slower down a little bit. So this is just a dented bangle. That's going to a lot. Next, we've got this, what appears to be a stretchy, pearly choker. The stretch is kind of sprung in it a little bit. I bet it was cute at one point. Maybe it's a hairband. But then if look, if you, it would be like that, that would not be pretty. So I bet it was pretty once upon a time when it was tighter. What would you do? I'm guessing I'm gonna put it in a lot because I don't restring things. And I wouldn't even know how to begin restringing this to be honest, cause that's just not my jam. So yeah, that will go to a lot. You can put that around your dog, make your dog fancy. Next, we've got this kind of suede, suedeite. Is suedeite a word? No, it's, I don't think it is. But we've got this kind of suede-like necklace with this circular pendant, which I don't know what it is. I do not think that that's the original color of this stone. I don't think. It's very interesting though. Mm, what would you do? I mean, normally anything with like leathery necklaces I don't care for because they're usually gross. But this one is not bad. So this is one I might actually try to sell. I'll have to do a little research on what I think that stone is. If you know, let me know. Then we've got this necklace, which I always like to look close at because uh, Tiffany & Co. made a silver ball necklace. So I like to always look close at these to make sure that I'm not missing something. This one, uh, also on a lot of the other ones, you'll find them with graduated beads where they get bigger towards the bottom and they can go for some, some good money, y'all. This one, it is marked, I think it says Korea in there. I don't see a 925. It is magnetic. So probably not silver. Like I said, I don't even see a silver stamp, but I like the details on it. I like that it's on a chain. It's not on just like string. Hmm. Is it something that's just like plated and awful? Or is it something I can polish? I think this is something I can probably polish up, you know, or clean up a little bit and sell. Cause I think it's a nice necklace, even if it's not sterling silver, it's definitely, got a nice look to it and somebody might want to layer it with other pieces that they've got and maybe you don't want to break the bank you know what I mean I think you do here we go that's a nice little black beaded necklace simple I actually think I might sell this one. Oh, look I need to back it out back it out please yeah I think this is a nice simple graduated black bead necklace I don't think it'll sell for a ton, but I think I could get maybe 10 bucks for it. Somebody might be looking for something simple like this. Cool, I can sell that. Ooh, we have got some chain mail. I'm sure there's another name for this style, but it looks like somebody has definitely made this. I'm gonna have to play with it to get it, because at the end of each little, what do you call it? Like, oh, it's not quite festooned, but you know what I mean. They've placed a tiny little seed bead on there that are kind of yellowy amber colored. 
So I will have to really lay this out to get a good picture of it to make sure I get all the little chains just so, which you know is gonna drive me crazy. But we do what we must to get the good picture to sell the item. But I definitely think this is something that could sell. I think that's a piece of leopard jasper there on this bit of crystal down at the bottom, this crystal shape I should say. That is definitely a seller. <laughs> you got this seashell necklace. This one is one I will put into a lot. It's pretty cool though. It's not awful. But yeah, it's going to a lot. Then we've got this bangle. It's got a... Oh my gosh, you fell. Are you okay? Oh, hang on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna save you. What happened? How did you fall over? Are you okay? I'm checking on you. Are you seeing double? Are you fine? Hello, are you focusing your eyes? Wow, that was scary. But I think you're gonna be okay. I'll get you an ice pack, hang on. Back at it. We soldier on. All right, <laughs> so we've got this bangle. Let's read what it says. Ask, it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Ask, it will be given to you, seek, you will, and it just goes around and around and around, like that. And then it's got a little charm with a cross on it as well. It's actually in really nice shape. I don't, you know, I don't see a silver mark or anything like that on it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. There's a few spots where maybe the finish could be better, but it's not terrible. I think it's something that could just easily be cleaned up and and sold. Love it, love it, I'm gonna sell it. We have an encrusted hair clippy. I ha For a while there, I was set setting these aside. Wow, this is a heavy duty one. That is heavy duty. Uh, I wonder if I should start setting these aside again. It is missing some stone, so probably gonna put this in a lot. Oh goodness. Bonus hair. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh dear. Okay. Go over there, bonus hair. This one has got a mixture of good, bad, and ugly. The good are all these little gemstone chips. The bad is this fishing wire, which you know I hate. I wouldn't even, I don't think I'm going to send this to my sister even. <laughs> there's more bonus hair in there. That's going to go to a lot. Who's going to detangle that? Somebody is going to want to like maybe snip all these cool little gemstones out and have fun with them. Now, the obligatory bubble necklace. This is a navy one. Uh, I've been setting these aside thinking maybe I'll sell them. You know what I should do? Is I should start setting them aside and making a lot with just these like bubble necklaces because it feels like we get one in almost every box. And I bet if I made a lot of them, I could sell them. How much you wanna bet? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna make a special place in my workroom where I threw all the bubble necklaces. All right, next necklace is this nice triple strand. It's got, yeah, we're gonna zoom it out quite a bit. So it's got a triple strand necklace with all of these little teardrop open work, scroll work, charms, and then little bits of shell that's like mother of pearl dyed discs. So that's a nice little piece. I think that's a nice seller. It's very feminine and not super splashy with color, but colorful, nice. I like it. This is a fun one, totally vintage, 80s bangle, love it. I will sell this. We have, somebody lost their closure for their twisty bead necklace and just got like a jump ring, not a jump ring, but like a ring binder ring. Or, I don't know, what the heck. <laughs> Let's open her up. Open her up, Margaret. It's, twist them all out because it's too short with that anyway those are some nice beads otherwise you know because now you're looking at some nice colorful beads maybe they were just being held together with this for randoms yeah so let's see if those are those are purpley like kind of like they're garnet beads so i'll have to see if i can test those because in the light they are translucent. So then we've got some blue beads, some turquoise colored beads, and some white ones. I'm gonna look closer at those. I might try to sell them. <sighs> it's 
strings. This is going to a lot. Some more shells. For a while there I was keeping shells all together, so maybe I'll start doing that again, because I did sell them eventually. Like put all the shell necklaces I have, like I'm gonna do with the bubble ones. Get a box, shells go here, bubble necklaces there, and then just lot them up eventually. That's the plan now. <gasps> sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> so this is a sweet little tassel and pearly bead stretchy bracelet. The stretch is good with this one. So, thoughts? Would you sell it? I don't know how much it would sell for, but it's awfully cute. How is that? That would drive me bonkers. But somebody might like it. I'm gonna look this, I'm gonna look this one up. More shells to go in my shell box. And then we've got what it was part of a necklace. This, I mean, they're pretty pieces. It's missing one little piece there, but I'll probably just put these into a lot. Somebody might be able to pull them apart and do something fancy with them. This little stretchy bracelet will go to a lot. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So next, oh, these match my nails, look. <laughs> they totally do. These are some fun black and red. Look, it's camouflage for my nails. I love it. They are just like painted plastic beads, but aren't they fun? I think I will try to sell these. Look, they match, these, my nails are called Trixie or Treat. They were Halloween-y ones. So these match my Halloween-y Trixie or Treat nails. Fun, we're twinsies. Come here, you gorgeous thing, you beauty. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Oh my goodness, look, just feast your eyes. <gasps> We have got this beautiful mosaic piece. It's got these inlays of like turquoise piece chips and what look like maybe lapis chips, all inlaid and then surrounded by these gold tone swirls. This is the back. Look how well that's put together too. Those hinges, those are awesome. There are no maker's marks, but oh, aren't you gorgeous, darling. Oh, you know this would be on my head. Let's put this right on my head. <gasps> oh, you have to see it. You must, you must see it. I look like a warrior. Warrior, but I don't know. clearly I'm not a warrior. Some kind of warrior. I, I've been watching a little too much America's Next Top Model. It's not working for me. Oh, I need to smile with my eyes. Okay, now, <laughs> look like I'm having a fit. <laughs> I think, that, I mean, unless something else amazing pops up, this may be the winner of the box. Oh my gosh. I think this could bring in a, a nice pretty penny, 50 bucks at least, if not more, because it's gorgeous. Okay, I just don't even wanna put it down, it's so pretty. <sighs> Let us zoom in on some of these fantabulous pieces. All right, I'm spreading this necklace out so we can get a good look at this pendant because, oh my goodness, it looks blurry, why? There we go. Look at this. It looks like a piece of maybe, oh, I don't know. I think it might be plastic, but it's pretty. We'll see, because the back, that's why I think. And then I thought maybe the finish could have been silver, but no. Ah. You know, some of the finish is rubbing off there. Let's get the magnet out though. Isn't it pretty though? It's still pretty. I love that style. All right, let me look in closer at this chain because it does look tarnished, but we learned in that other video with this, you know, watch out for fake silver. It can look tarnished, but it's still not silver. So I don't see any marks on it. Thoughts? I mean, I could try to clean it up and sell it. I mean, obviously not as silver, because it's not. 
but it's pretty. Oh, let me think about it. What would you do? What would you do? Then we've got this. I think it must have come off of something, but I don't know what. And yeah, this will just go to a lot. It's got some nice little beads on it though. This little, it looks like one of those snow babies, but I'm not sure that it is. This will go to a lot. Next up, we've got a star and moon charm style necklace with a little pendant. It is not magnetic, but once again, I don't really, well, I don't know, let's see. So not silver, probably just gonna go straight to a lot as well. This one's pretty. We've got a half black, half white oval pendant. It is embellished part way around with this kind of ropey looking, I don't know. And then it's, let's see. Ah, uh, it's caught along the edge here. I'll have to pull that through. And it's on this like box chain necklace. It's got a cool like vintage look, kind of 80s. I may look into selling this one. That one's kind of fun. Then this is a beautiful piece of dichroic glass. Look at all those colors. That is gorgeous. It does appear to have a mark here on the back. It says Terry, so I'll have to look up Terry, dichroic glass. This is one that I will take it off the string and put it on a necklace and sell it. I had a necklace yesterday. I had this necklace from yesterday's video. This might look good on it. I was playing around with it with the other pendant too. It might look better with the other pendant. This one might need a nicer, just like a chain. But yeah, I'll get a nice chain for that. Beautiful. We've got this sweet little necklace. This is a gold tone necklace that has a little pearly tassel at the bottom. And then all along it has got little pearls set in and little hearts and flowers and bits of chain. It's really pretty. It's so feminine and dainty too, I love it. It is magnetic. And I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it anywhere, but I still think it's sellable. I think it's so adorable and sweet. We've got this pendant with a heart, some enamel work, some open work swirls. That's a nice pendant. Uh, again, could be one that I find a, it's kind of got this gunmetal silver, gunmetal gray. If I find a chain that would match that, I could, I could sell that. Then, look at that one. Let me zoom it out of teens. We have this open work cross, and it's got two types of swirls on it. These are kind of beaded looking with little domes, and then these are smooth on this side. Uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the cording that it's on. It's kind of like this rubbery. It's not awful though. I mean, it's in good shape. So yeah, this is something that I think I could sell. Another piece of that that's going to the lot. And then here we've got one of these evil eye bracelets. What would you do? Would you sell it? Maybe I'll try to sell that. That's kind of fun. The eyes are teeny, teeny tiny. Aha, uh -huh, this is a heavy piece. It's got the mixed metal. Why is it wet? What on earth? Do I want to smell it? Do I want to know? What's in the box? Did it dip in my... I have coffee here. Maybe my coffee spilled a little bit. But how would it get in my coffee? That's weird. I don't know. I'm going to wash my hands. All right. It's got mixed metal, cool, dark chain. This is definitely going to be a seller. It's, a, it's quite substantial. feels heavy. Uh, maker's Mark. I don't see one. But this is definitely going to be a nice selling piece. All right, here's a little pearl necklace. This is another one. Remember I told you guys, our new vice president likes to wear pearls, different styles. So you might want to start listing some of those pearl necklaces. This is a Claire's one, so it could be a youth pearl necklace. Very cute. 
Uh, we've got this necklace. I am not a fan of the string, so this will probably just go into a lot. This is a nice bracelet, a nice multi-wire cuff bracelet. This is one that I can definitely sell. No maker's marks, but I think it's kind of got a Wonder Woman look to it, you know, or Black Panther. I'm not sure. It's just like, uh, I love it. Whoa, okay, <laughs> wow. We have got a very fun brooch here. It's got this picture with all these fall colors and then these funky sunflowers with definitely like fall colors on it. And do we, it's an Avon. All right, so that's definitely a seller. A big, substantial brooch like that with these, the flowers kind of remind me of uh, Dr. Seuss, right? So cool. Talk about another whoa piece. Here we've got this big flower. It's got some tulle and a big bling in the, in the front with some AB stones, Aurora Borealis, and then some teardrops, some flowers, like some more sunflower charms. That is definitely going to be a seller. And it does have a hang tag, but there's nothing on it. So I, I think this will sell. That's pretty awesome. Awesome. This is a little one. Probably just going to go straight to my kids because they love anything with like what they call jade. Anything with a green stone they call jade. Even though I tell them it's not jade. Doesn't matter. Green stone. They like it. They want it. So that's probably where that's going to go. So next we've got this pearly stretch bracelet. The stretch is fair. It's got this C with some bling. Let's go around. C-E on this one. Oh gosh, I feel like a mystery coming. Looks like some books. Some book ends there or like spines of books. I don't know what this brand is. Oh gosh. Okay, there's... Oh, it's a premier design. Right in there. I don't know if you can see it. Is the premier design. I wonder what the C-E stands for then. That's... Interesting. I guess you're just supposed to make it up or maybe somebody knows. I don't know. This is something I will try to sell. I like it. Gonna sell it. Next up, these are some nice glass beads. However, maybe they're not glass. No, they're painted on. They're stone that's been painted uh, and that's scratching off. They are cold to the touch though, but these are going into a lot. Next up, what are you? What are you? Oh dear, what is it? Oh, help, help. Coming in closer. Uh, what we have here, is it trying to be a tooth? I don't know. I think it's trying to be a tooth. But it's going to go to a lot because I don't, is it a tooth? I think it's a tooth. Oh dear. Are, is that you? <gasps> Y'all. <laughs> I touched them. I touched them. So I've got some false eyelashes here. Um, um, are they magnetic? Are they the magnetic kind that I can just pick them up with this and throw them away? Are they? Because that would be super helpful. I feel like they want to be magnetic. They are. Okay. Or that's just the glue. We're going to put that in the trash. Okay. Boom. In the trash. I got a wipey. I'm gonna clean the hands with some antibacterial wipes. Okay. <sighs> wow. That was a close one, y'all. <sighs> Shudder. Shudder. Oh, I got like the chills down my spine. That's not good. Let's see if we can't move past that. <laughs> I guess I've touched worse. What's like the worst thing you've gotten? The worst thing, remember the gorse foot? Like the, and then I got in that one box, that UK box, that was pretty frightening. Uh, surprising, I should say, but the eyelashes is gross. Okay, that's just gross. Yuck. Next up, we've got this really colorful beaded necklace that would sit like right at the base of the neck. Super pretty. This is one I will for sure sell. Somebody will love this. Oh, I want to reach in the box now. Hair clip. I feel like I've had this brooch before. I wonder if I still have it or sold it. It's a DD. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a nice little sunflower brooch. That is definitely going to be a seller. Lots of good selling pieces in here. This is one I feel like I've had once. I think I've ever read one like this. Is this the coconut? That is that what that is? What is this from again? Y'all help me. I can never remember. Oh, those eyelashes. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need smelling salts or something. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my what else is in there? Okay. Uh, we've got some turquoise chips. I will either sell those or give those to my sister. Those are nice, uh, but they're plastic. So this is a nice stretchy bracelet. Plastic with some shell. These will go into a craft lot. This is a fun one. Ooh, look. So this necklace, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, has got a whole slew of just Little dangles, little dangly bits on this one, y'all. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be mesmerizing. Once you get it moving, you can really work that. That's going to be a seller for sure. Wooden bead necklace, or bracelet, I should say. That's a fun one. But I think I'm probably just going to put this into a lot as well. Another turquoise stretchy one. Maybe you could lot those two together. <sighs> I'm still, like, not over it. This one I'll probably put into a lot. It's got some nice little be um, charms on it though. Those are nice charms. Ooh, I like this. So here we've got a nice wooden bangle. It's got two types of wood and then it's ridged along the edges, but then also it's concave. It like scoops down right there into it. So that's pretty awesome. That's definitely a good seller, I'm sure. <music> Okay, so all of these things, except for that, that's just gonna go in the trash. But all of this will just go into a craft lot. That's a nice little piece though. Oh, maybe I'll give that one to my sis. <laughs> all right, rest of this, those are some fun little Rivoli AB stones. Those are fun, but they're gonna go to a lot. All right, then we've got this bracelet, which I'm trying to tell if this wear along over here is supposed to be like that. I can't tell. It's wood. It's kind of cool. I just don't know if it's supposed to be that way. I'll probably just put this into a lot. Got some stretchy bead bracelets. There's one, two, three. So these three. These are stone, so probably going to head over to my sis. And the rest, these two will go to a lot. Then, this looks like it's got something on the back of it. This is a nice little bracelet. Nice little stretchy. It's got roses and flowers and stones. It looks like it's got something here that would scratch. So maybe somebody could take it apart and fix it up. But yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, another stretch. Missed it. That'll go to a lot. This is a nice little, it's like one of those old school ID bracelets, but it's got this animal print along it. I may try to sell that. That's pretty cute. Cute. I still have some other things, but here are some earrings that we've got. I've got a box going with solo earrings that I can try to match up later from all of these hauls, etc. So, but I do have some that I want to look at. So that's a cool one. I mean, some of them could definitely probably sell as solos. That could probably sell as a pendant. It's awesome. Then, I mean, this one I ask you, who's like, you know what I want? I really am looking for an earring that looks like a barrel of ale because there's nothing that says, come here boys, I'm ready to date, like earrings that look like 
uh, Bilbo Baggins floated out of the, you know, elf town. Oh gosh, what was the elf town called? They escaped the elves in those barrels. I mean, perhaps it's a themed <laughs> earring. <laughs> Maybe the other earring has got a little like Bilbo poking out of a barrel. I don't know. Could be. Or an angry elf. <laughs> This earring is gorgeous. The back is gorgeous. The front is gorgeous. I love it. I really, really, really hope that the mate turns up on this one. This says it's a Liz Claiborne earring. Looks like so, but again, only have the one. There are couples with mates here. Those with the little purple stones. Let me see if there's any marks. There are. There's a mark there. So this is marked India 925. Those are ones I think I could probably sell. They're pretty cute. Here we've got the Ichthyus fish. I mean, we've got an I Love Snowmen one. I mean, I guess, you know, everybody's got their, what they're into, but snowmen might be cold on a cold night. And then we've got this little gold one. I like that it has a gold post. Is it gold? Let's get in there and find out. No, I don't see any marks on it. Probably not going to be gold. So yeah, all these will go to my solo earring box. Next up, we've got this scarf clip. I like to list them. They're easy to list. They don't bring in a ton of money, but like I said, they're easy to list. About 10 to 15 bucks each. So, hey, why not? Then we've got a robot. I love robots. I love it. I love it. That's an Avon robot, so yeah, I just have to get a little string for him, and he is going to be listed. Cute! We've got this ring. Let me bring it in closer for you. It does not appear to be missing any stones. It's really pretty. All right, mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. You are a size about five and three quarters. And I do, darling. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, not silver, no marks inside or anything like that, but I think it's a sweet little ring. Cool. Then we've got one of these rings that's got the crystal-y, whatchamadoodle, I can't ever think of the word for that. I always wanna say druzy, but then people are like, that's not right, Margaret, it's not druzy. Fine, like a geode, you know what I mean? Again, it's okay. I mean, the color on it's, I mean, not my color, but somebody might be like, I want something that's kind of green, but not quite green. Again, it fit my finger there, so we're looking at what, like a five and three quarters, or maybe a six? Yep, right there. Five and three quarters, six-ish for the ring finger, for anyone who's taking score at home. Yeah, it's cute. I'll try to sell it. We'll see. Then, oh, you're hanging on. We've got a button military style. It's one of those screw on type. I don't know the significance, what it is, what it goes to. I will have to look it up. Maybe if you know, you could tell me. Then we've got this little cloisonne pendant on a nice gold tone chain. That's sweet. I think I can sell that one too. I have got more to sell than I have got going into my craft lot, which is really good. Let's make a thumbnail! Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next time. Bye!